You think you could score on Wimby with your step back? With my step back, no, but I could break those big goofy ankles of his with some of my nasty crossovers. And Lord help him if I bust out the Euro step. That ended his career on the spot. Thanks for resub, Dark Knight. Oh my god, I, I, yeah, I saw that like a couple hours ago. Did you see the clip of the old dude whose knees exploded walking down the steps at a baseball game? D this shit was so weird how it happened, yeah. Um, fuck, what did I even type in to find that again? Actually, I don't even know if I could show that on stream, so I'll just describe it, but... Basically, there's a guy in a baseball game and he's getting rowdy. Like, he's just yelling, I don't even know what he's yelling about, but he's like yelling, he's like pointing... And then he gets up and he's like storming out, he's leaving, he's had enough. And he's walking down the stairs. And his foot gets caught on like one of the stairs, so he like loses his balance a bit. And he's falling forward, but he leans back. So what ends up happening is, he puts all of the weight on his knees and he snaps back and both of his knees blow up. Like literally blow up. Like his kneecaps get all fucking cattywampus, everything gets rearranged there. And then he just, he just... He just crawls there. He just stays... Well, he doesn't crawl. He just stays there on all fours in pure fucking agony. After he just embarrassed himself by yelling and screaming or whatever with what happened on the field and then that happens. That couldn't have been a worse series of events for him. Lawsuit? How? It's entirely his fault. The stairs were totally up to code. He was so angry and seeing red that he forgot how to walk. So he just completely missed the step. His knees got vaporized. Thanks for the bits, Izzy. Mm. Gift sub Rin and Tier 1 Colby. The Prime Rabble. Show it. I mean, it's not bloody. There's no gore or anything, but his knees are really gnarly looking. Here, I'll pull it up real quick. The t the, also, the tweet was a banger. It said it said something like, Man just, man just tore his ACL, MCL, BBL, CBS, NBC, and DVD. It was, it was actually like a banger tweet. But yeah, this was a fucking disaster for him. It legitimately couldn't have been worse. Oh! Oh, jeepers, creepers, zoinks. Which one of you uh, put that banana peel on the stairs? Yeah, so both knees got de-atomized there instantly after fucking making a fool of himself. The fold actually folded, yeah. Like some goddamn laundry. The Zuckerberg and Musk fight's never happening. That's all just a bunch of hooey. Won't happen. His poor patellas. Oh, it's so much more than that. Everything that exists in the knee region on both of his legs ceased to exist at this at, at all at once. Neither of them have even thought of fighting another human. If you're talking about Musk and Zuckerberg, you couldn't be more wrong. Zuckerberg is an actually very well-trained Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. He won a tournament recently, and it wasn't even a rigged tournament. There's footage of it. It was just a legitimate tournament for BJJ, and Zuckerberg is nasty. Like, he's actually a fucking menace at Brazilian jiu-jitsu. He's the resub Yashi. Watch it again, it's like a gimme class. What are you talking about? I watched the tournament. I watched, like, the finals of that tournament. That guy he was up against was actually going hard. Like, legitimately going fucking hard. You can cope all you want. I don't like Zuckerberg. I fucking hate Zuckerberg. But, I mean, he, he is good at BJJ. Like, he is actually good. Like, he's not top tier. He'd never be at, like, an actual competitive level, like, professional. But he is good. The caption's still sending me. No, this is a banger tweet. Dude killed it on this tweet. How the fuck was he able to do that? Because he missed this step right here. He was so upset and he was storming out of the arena. So what happened is his foot, his little tootsies here, clipped the... 
<laughs> step underneath the one he was intending to step on. So he went a little too far forward and panicked. And he was already so mad that he wasn't really thinking straight or seeing right. That's where it all went so wrong. Hooray for PT. PT won't solve this. He's going to need surgery. Oh, 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 and he'll never walk oh, right again. That's going to require a very expensive set of surgical procedures. Really appreciate that. I can't click links, though. You can tell me what it is, though. Really appreciate the generosity, Ned. Remember when Vince McMahon tore both of his quads getting into the ring? Yeah, that was iconic. But that wasn't nearly as bad as this. Dated a girl who tore her ACL and refused to get surgery for six months. You know what I find crazy? Tearing your ACL for a lot of athletes, and really just for a lot of people, is a debilitating, life-changing injury. Like, it, it'll end your career in professional sports. Yet... There are some people that tore their ACL at some point and don't even realize it. There was, uh, fuck, what was, what was his name? I don't remember. There was a football player who, very high level football player, turns out tore his ACL like many, many, many years ago and didn't know it and was still playing at a very high level, just fine. He never got surgery to fix it. He just had a torn ACL for like half of his fucking life and he was totally fine. Just playing without an ACL. Yeah, I don't know how. I don't get it. Thanks, Arisa. Radiant in love. Prob says the Wolverine healing factor and doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess. John Elway was born without an ACL. Oh, really? I didn't know that. That's not who I was talking about, but that's pretty cool. As long as your muscles are built up, you don't need an ACL. My trainer tore hers and she was still the strongest woman in the world with no surgery. I think it really just depends on how it tears. If I had to speculate a guess, that would I feel like it, it's going to depend heavily on how it tears. But yeah, apparently there are people that can still compete at a very high level in sports without an ACL somehow. Thanks, Resub Keo. The meniscus damage is normally what ruins people. Is that right? I thought the ACL was the most important one when it comes to sports. Maybe you're right.